You'll have to forgive me. I went out of sequence as it relates to the servant draft. So when you play with upstairs, downstairs, we begin the game with a servant draft. I went out of sequence because I'm one person. And if you're playing competitively, somebody goes first and to compensate people for not going first, for the disadvantage of going second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, is the person who's going last. In this case, in a two-player game, York is going second. They get to choose their player board. Well, I just threw two player boards out there, but they get to choose their player board and draft their servant as part of setup before we see what's in the market and what our objective cards are. So I'm forgetting about those things, and I think I'm going to have York take a useful man. And you know what? I would normally pick the cook, but I want everybody to see the power early on of a head housemaid. So I'm going to grab that and I'm going to return these back to the servants for hire. Excuse me. And we are now going to begin with Wessex. And what do we need to do first of all? <laughs> Excuse me while I get rid of the cat. We come to our round track and I'm going to be doing a variant which is my very favorite which is variable courtship. And by getting an 18, season one is going to function as a closed courtship. I'm using the larger courtship cards for those who have used profane language trying to shuffle my little courtship cards in the original game. <laughs> so we have functionally a closed courtship, which is going to certainly affect our strategy early on. And in round one here, I'm going to begin with Wessex. Now there's a reality. Every game of obsession I've ever played, if I have this glorious tile available to me, I go out of my way to purchase it without exception is my first play if that's out there in the market for me. If I can get it by hook or by crook, I'm getting it. So we're going to go ahead to the tennis court, generate the money we need. We're going to grab my one guest who does not require service, which is nice, along with um, the Viscount, and that's going to give me 600 pounds. It's 500 pounds for this. I'll take one of my beautiful nanny narking coins and ride on back over here. Put my servant's quarters there. That nanny narking coin. Whoop, what's that doing there? That must have been from an earlier cut when I did this turn before, before I realized I missed some, And uh, then we're going to break down. So we're gonna flip over the bowling green, put this in my discard pile. It's my active hand, my discard pile. Servant's quarters is set to go. I'm done here. We slide over and we need to repopulate. I'm not gonna do this extensively. I'm gonna sort of cut out repopulation and clean up once I've done a few turns, but I'll go ahead and grab a tile. Look at this. We have a still room, which is a backer tile. Place a servant here to use him or her twice in a future turn. Fascinating little tile. That comes out there, very expensive, uh, but that is going to flush down as soon as we get to the second season. So now it's the uh, turn for York. So York's thinking is to go ahead and get busy with the private study. Private study is something you want to play in particular. In particular, when you have the useful man, you can enhance the value of the private study. And so I'm generating 300 pounds here so I can get into this carriage house. And then I have now flipped the private study, which has the great advantage of setting me up for very lucrative future village fairs in future rounds. Clean up, active hand discard pile, repopulate the market. Look at that ice house coming down cheap even though it's got a $200 premium. Interesting thing is you need a cook on the backside to take advantage of that. Uh, let me show that for people who are not familiar with it. So on the front side the backer proposal is that the useful man's the one that gathers the ice. Getting the ice is quite a big deal in the 19th century. It requires a lot of manual labor. 
the ice house is stocked with ice and that leads to the invitation to uh, three gentry to enjoy a dessert course which generates uh, generates pounds and the cook is required so that's an interesting tile but obviously you got to be aware of what's needed to take a full advantage of it so let's reach in here and let's grab a new tile we have flower room flower room comes out there and we are at the end of round one let's go to round two slide over here now when you're doing a closed courtship what you have to keep in mind is that you want to um, sort of compare your progress in different categories right now we have one victory point in both of these categories here I have retained the three victory points here by not playing the private study yet so I've got to ask myself a question do I want to give up the revenue and reputation that comes for planning for the village fair which if you look on the back side I got to remember there's people not real familiar with the game you can see there's real value there for in round three so I have to think do I want to have the advantage in the courtship of three victory points that will lock up the essentials courtship or do I want that money and that reputation I think I'm going to go ahead and gamble a little bit and not go here I'm going to rotate my service and what I'm going to do So I'm going to come to the front parlor here because I'm going to use my head housemaid to her advantage. And that is going to be to get the young lady of the house and her mother to play whist in the parlor. Put that there. Reason is the head housemaid gives me a screening function on the young lady. So now I'm able to really sort of build out my deck in season one. This is going to be the young lady would have drawn this guest, which is a negative guest, or this guest. Well, now this is, normally you'd say that's a bad guest, but man, anytime you can get into a prestige guest, whew, she's worth it to dismiss later. Keeping her, normally, just for convenience, I'm going to set them there, but discards normally would go under at the bottom of the deck. And now this is the lady of the house she looks at these two my guest mix right now given my head housemaid and the two favors there that functionally can be with my servants quarters a screened invite and a hundred pounds each turn and that's the first card I ever developed right there very first one so I like it I'm gonna take that I'm gonna discard that so that is the two guests that have been picked up um, going to put them in the active hand clean up oh almost forgot my three reputation very important clean up have my discard pile my active hand we're gonna flip that now from the standpoint of the closed courtship in season one I have an advantage here I'm tied here I have an advantage here and I'm tied and I have an advantage here I'm really playing the courtship game I want to win this courtship this person's going to be sort of setting themselves up to prosper um, in, in the future village fair rounds. But we'll have to see now how they respond to what I played. That took some thought. I was off camera for quite a while because he really, York really wanted to get into this ice house. That would have given him an advantage in a service courtship. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, and it's quite a powerful little tile when you think about it. I'm able to generate reputation and money at the first level on that. Second thought was to get into the tennis court, but if I did that by playing this, that negative one victory points for all sporting activities that you embark upon, which don't do much for your reputation, would have cost me um, in the courtship for sporting. And I wanted to get into that for obvious reasons. I could have played that in round three, but then I can't generate 500 pounds. I could discount that down to 400, but for the village fair, I want this useful man to be here because he's gonna generate an additional 200 pounds. So I'm going to take a little bit of a meek approach here. I've gone to the bowling green and I have 
service to provide for my two guests. I'm going to generate 400 pounds. Love these coins. Generating 400 pounds, two reputation. Two reputation there. Tidy up my business. And then I'm going to break down. Flip the bowling green so at least I tie there. And I have 400 pounds. I could take that tennis court and fall behind, put that in my discard pile. You know what? I am going to use a special action. Give up the two reputation I generated to get to 500 pounds. And then I'm going to put the 500 pounds here to pull the ice house in. Gives me an advantage in 20% of the courtship possibilities and it'll allow me to potentially, with my money draw here, to play my way into contention on another category. So I'll slide this down. And let's grab, out comes a hillside kennels. And we're going to go to round three. So in round three, we are to the village fair round. I have our closed courtship then shortly thereafter. So the new player boards are very clear that at this point we're to check the round track. And at this time, if I had a useful man, I could play it onto the private study, either flipped or not flipped, in order to get an increase in 200 pounds. That's the family, whether they plan more meticulous more meticulously to be the patron of the event. They are sending their useful man down to help with stalls and with setting up for the village fair. And so that's the rationale there. Gonna rotate the, whoop, rotate the service here. And there is going to be no benefit here. So I'm doing a big gamble, giving up a lot on the chance that uh, I can dominate this first courtship. So I take a look and we're tied here, I'm ahead here. If I flip this, I will either be tied or ahead in every category except service. And I think that's the play. So let's do that. I'm gonna go here, we need two gentry. I am going to get busy with this unsavory guest, Miss Elizabeth Jones. Elizabeth's flirtatiousness causes embarrassment, but she is the Earl of Highcrest's niece. So she's well connected. We're gonna go ahead and supply, um, supply service there. And then I'm gonna actually enjoy two. And I, I'm going to screen one of these, two prestige guests. So I've got, I've got some interesting plays against York here. I like my position, but I am giving up a lot for some of my advantage that I'm trying to, to work out here. So what do I get? I either get reputation or pounds. I'm going to use one reputation to offset one there, so I only lose one reputation for having Miss Jones. And then I get two invites. And both are screened. Lucky me. This would be the invite if it were not screened. And there's a classic example of the value of screening because this, this great guest, a lot of victory points, but not going to be useful till the last season probably. So, and look at that, man, I've got a prestige guest play going on here. Let's look at my next one. We've got her. She's a new card. Wow. <laughs> wow. I've got a prestige guest play. So I'm going to discard those. These will go into my active hand, and I will break this down. Flip the main gazebo in the discard pile. Uh, I haven't been able to buy anything, so the only thing I've bought, now I did have the advantage of having that tile, the only thing I've bought is this one tile. So while I've got a prestige guest play, I'm not doing a lot with my renovations on my estate. So now that brings us over to York, 
who is their first action of this turn, places their useful man on the private study to realize 500 pounds and two reputation uh, for the village fair. I'm gonna rotate service. York is going to go ahead and go to the front parlor with two ladies, which is the only two cards that he had left in his hand because he hasn't done any inviting. Um, and with these two ladies, he is going to be able to flip this, draw even there, but it's going to allow him with the money from the useful man in the village fair to get that smoking room and take leadership here, leadership here, tied here, trailing here, and here. So um, he's got essentially a 50-50 chance of, of benefiting from the courtship. And so we get three reputation, one, two, three. That flips us to second, whoop, sorry. Flips us to second level. And then we have, we'll do the screened invite first. So this is the lady of the house. Two very good guests. Gonna go with a little bit of money from Lady Russell. And this is the unscreened guest. And she's a new guest, comes with the upstairs, downstairs gentry deck. And she's a good one. She actually is a new type of guest that normally it's only the lady that screens. But this uh, very socially uh, well-connected young lady, she can do a screening as well. So that's good. And now break this down, flip this over acquire that smoking room for 400 pounds. Voila! And what do we do? We have our reveal. And it is prestige. All that manipulation and York comes in and steals prestige on that final play. Very well done. Whoop. Before I forget, let me populate uh, the market. Come in with a writing stable. And now, and I will be, I'll bring it up on the screen. You will see I've added an indication for the uh, when the reserve triggers uh, at the end of season one for service tiles, at the end of season two for prestige rating one tiles. So now coming back live, what this means is that at the end of season one, we need to purge any service tiles that um, that are in the market over there and that brings in a West Saloon. So that's the first example of how the reserve works. We're now into season two. We're gonna move the first player marker over and we're going to roll the courtship dice. 20, another closed courtship. Now one other thing we need to do, we need to dump one of our objective cards. Um, none of them, I'm not discouraged here. I do see a riding stables here. Um, I don't want to give up on my only group. I'm going to go ahead and part with the stateroom, put it there. And over here, I'm not going to give up on that just yet. I definitely got to start hiring. I see that they got the smoking room. There's another smoking room, but the odds are low. I'm going to go ahead and part with that. Put that in the discard pile. And we're moving on to another close courtship in season two.